Magnus, tell her you would never do that. No Selkie would ever do that. It is a dark, twisted use of our power. Dorian, she's right. Sebastian's wife, Hazel, was the most beautiful woman I'd ever laid eyes on. She was graceful and talented. She could play the piano. She was cultured and sophisticated. More like the women I remember. Perhaps we're the only ones who remember now. But Sebastian wasn't good enough for her. He had no money. He wanted to doom her to the life of an archaeologist's wife. What kind of life was that for Hazel? She loved him. And he loved her, right? Yes. There wasn't much I could do about that. We talked and talked, Hazel and I, but she remained dedicated to Sebastian and he to her. I was hopelessly in love. Kept hoping that something terrible would happen and that she'd leave him, come to the sea and cry the seven tears. I told her all the folklore and all the tales. She just thought I was funny, full of old nonsense. In the end, she called me her best friend. But you managed it. How? I used the Selkie charm, of course. This is dark magic. No Selkie is permitted to do this, ever. Dorian's right. I stole her tears and bound her to me. And so you stole Hazel from Sebastian. How did she die, Magnus? I killed her. In the end, after I'd bound her to me, she still whispered Sebastian's name in her sleep. Sometimes woke up to find that he wasn't there. She'd still be looking for him. She pined after him. And if you couldn't have her, no one could. But the only way you know all of this is because you felt that way too. Yes. The difference is I walked away. You killed others too, didn't you? The humans that belong to the Selks. To draw attention away from yourself. Because Selkies just don't do that sort of thing. Magnus. She's right, Dorian. I don't know how she knows it all, but she's right. Anyway, I'm tired of all of this. It's only fair. I doubt that most of your colours are this simple. Tell the silk. But you can't. I'll be exiled. It is already done. Such is the way of our people. There's worse things in this world than name knowing. I don't know how to tell you this. Sebastian's escaped. How did you know? Call it instinct. I heard the scream too. I feel he'd rather be anywhere else but here. We'll go. Maybe. Someday. Right. Get out. You've got work to do. I haven't thought or dreamt about Adam past week or so. You're thinking about him now. Yeah, but this is the first time in several days. Also just realised it. Had my mind on other things. Leah, there is something you have to understand about the world, both human and fairy. Both rake and love are types of magic, types of spell. 
Some people cannot break free of them, or it takes many years. Selkies can no more break free of these spells than an angel can have free will without causing its own destruction. Sebastian intensified the spell to the point where it would have killed most humans or left them in a vegetative state. You can die of a broken heart. And you didn't. Part of the suffering of the Selk is that we are offered no such consolation. This is Vyobi Station, Dylan. Won't feel heat, or cold, or age. You might get bored though. And, uh, Dylan. Hi. I'm going to have to train. You train me. You can't even magic your way out of a paper bag. You don't know anything about me. You know more than you think. Plus, I'm the only guardian who's actually willing. I will. You can't be that bad if you help to chill out. What's that? A box. I've been sitting in the police station for a couple of hundred years, but uh, I took it this morning. Are you? My dearest Dylan, I've met a young lady. I think you would like her. Beautiful long hair, and she knows how to fight, which is a blessing in my time. Dear Dylan, my son has turned one this year. I've named him after you, of course. My dear friend, today I met Bonnie Prince Charlie. He was not as bonny as his reputation says. He has no head for drink. Dear Dylan, I am turning 65. It seems that in all my long life, I shall never age to a time when we meet again. I look forward to your visit, should you make one. Dylan, old friend and companion, I have written you for many years as promised. I only hope that you will receive my letters. They say that I have a condition and will be gone within a year. Dylan, they say it will be soon. I tell them I know that we will meet again and they think me mad. I'll never forget your friendship and your strange ways, your interesting food and how you watched over me. Mourn me not, friend and brother. Know that I have loved you and keep well. My thoughts and prayers are with you always. Cherlach. Have to go, Tim. Yeah, good night, Bill. Great inspiration, Tim. Wonderful story. You're a comfort to move our six. Let it be. Hello? Leah, Geoffrey says hello. Sebastian. Your memory serves you well. Where are you? Now really, I thought you were a clever girl. We'll find you. Yes, yes, all in good time. You and the amazing Sir Boy. I will watch your career with interest. But now, unfortunately, is not a call for pleasure. Yes, I did commit the murders. There, you have a confession. Well done. I think I've made my statement considering that you did indeed arrest Mr. Grey. The point is, Miss Lair, as Geoffrey so liked to call you, I'm not the important thing here. <laughs> no, you don't think so? The first serial killer of fairies? Really, serial killer? How film noir. I'm hurt. But no, Leah, you know I did this. There's no big mystery. Finding out one of your precious silkies was a monster, now that is news. I'm Dog Bites Man, Leah. That's Man Bites Dog. 
Anyhow, we're getting off the subject. The question is, why was Dylan called? Called? I don't understand. Dylan, your Ned Angel. The Guardian isn't called unless the former Guardian is dead. I know you were busy chasing after me, but seriously, the case is solved. Congratulations. But... Glasgow is my city. Never doubt that for an instant. But it's your responsibility to serve and protect it. Do your job, Miss Bishop. Protect my city. Glasgow isn't your... Are you buying? Of course. Single malt? Only the best. Slanger. Yeah, that's great. That's a pub. <laughs> I've started to look at apartments in the city. <laughs> I guess I should be thanking Adam for what he's done for me. I could never seem to tear myself away to live a new life. And here I am, finally living it. My own unconnected life in a city I never thought I would see again. Here I am, knowing that fairies exist, fighting new kinds of monsters with a wear seal as a partner. I am Detective Inspector Leah Bishop, and I'm on the monster's side.